ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell vocally, I am feeling better. Uh, here and there, I do, you know, have a slip up. But outside of that, I have a topical video that, as you can tell by the title, I, I want to talk about this. And this is just something I personally would love to see, and maybe you would love to see, in Rainbow Six Extraction. Now, if you are new to my channel, uh, please, if you do enjoy the video, like, subscribe, and share. It would really be appreciated if you help me grow to 300 subscribers by the end of the year. It would be very, very much appreciated. If we are lucky and we have a thousand at some point, I will be forced to start talking to us. So be looking forward to that because that is a guarantee going to happen. It is going to hurt. Without further ado, enough delays, I want to talk about operators that I personally would like to see in Rainbow Six Extraction. Now, don't get me wrong. I really do already love the roster that we have. But... There just feels like there's a lot of operators missing that really fit the bill. For those who have played with Fuse, you know he has a unique ability that allows him, and he's the only operator that does this, but allows him to reinforce faster. Now, I don't know why, but in my train of thought, I was like, <clears throat> oh yeah, that makes sense, you know, no big deal. Because, you know, why not, I guess? That, that was just my train of logic, it's just, sure. I guess that's fine. But I started thinking more. What if that ability was never really meant for Fuse? But instead, Castle. Now I know what you're thinking, and I want you to hear me out. Why Castle? We can already put up more durable barricades, and we can reinforce it. Well, that's the thing. Most objective sites, especially if they're doing uh, as a current season, uh, September 4th, if you were doing the Maelstrom Protocol <clears throat> with Echo, you have this location that has a lot of walling that needs to be reinforced. I personally believe in say that Castle should be in the game because he would be able to hold, in my mind, like maybe instead of three standard you know, reinforcements, he gets to hold six instead when he's like maybe level 10 or something, you know? Given that nice unique ability, which would make people want to play him more often because depending on your objective mission, you would want those reinforcements. <clears throat> I personally would love to see Castle because his barricade gadget as well. Yes, we already put up very, very more durable barricades, and I get that. But what if Castle's barricade? does what we actually have to do with multiplayer. Now hear me out. The normal barricades we put up in extraction are pretty durable, especially to freaking bullets. But they don't hold out things very long. Well. Like grunts tear through them within just maybe four or five hits. I've never paid attention because I just try to kill them. But what if castle with our new unique operator that when he puts his gadget down, right, it actually takes them a lot longer to break through. Like, they actually have to hit it 10 times. Or maybe it's, um, it's got something to protect it which causes damage to them every time they hit it. Or uh, when they break it, it explodes. Something unique for Castle. That is my personal thing. Now, moving on from Castle, I'm going to start from Defenders first towards Attackers because I have a more of a strong Defender suit when I play C. Another Operator I personally would like to see is Captain. Now, this is going to be very, very biased, and I do understand this, so do please take my opinion with a grain of salt. As a person who's main Cap Cannon Echo, I'm already in love with what they've done with Echo and Extraction. There is a bug, of course, with it where for some reason the drone will auto-break for whatever reason, whether it's your fault or not, it'll just break. Sorry. Um, but it would be cool to see Capcan in the game, and he'd be our first, or at least one of our very few slash first trap operators that we have in C, or uh, Extraction, that can regen his gadget. Now, I know someone's going to think that's overpowered, but think of it like this. Grunts already hit you for about 30 
of your health anyway. So it's a pretty balanced fight if I have someone like Capcan on my team or me as the Capcan. Me personally, it would be nice to see someone. Basically, seeing Capcan being able to regenerate his gadget would be cool. And who knows? They might even put it to where. Sorry, I uh, just got that beat. But it would be cool to see maybe they put its games back to the way it was an old gen of Siege, you know? I've never really played back then with Capcom, but I did start playing during Nomad and Cade, so I do have experience with it. Now, again, this is just a personal opinion because it would be really cool to see Capcom in the game, especially for the missions like the uh, Sabotage or the uh, Surreal Scan. It would be really cool and unique to have Capcan in the game. And since he only holds five of his gadget, it would genuinely make more sense for him to be able to naturally regenerate them. Because, well, five's not really going to do much. Now, maybe if they don't choose to regenerate them, maybe it turns to ten. That would be also fine. Or, hell, just eight, I'll be fine. But moving on from Capcan, I want to talk about the Apex. Now, for those who have bought the Apex, you know it is a big, big pain in the uh, in the ass, essentially. It, it, it is obnoxious to play. Um, so I've been thinking, especially if you're getting up close and personal to the Apex, you notice it has like this weird force field thing that happens. What if we had the alt layer meant for countering a new mutation with an enemy? Hear me out, I know you're going to bitch at me for it. And I'm going to bitch at myself for it later. I know I will if this happens. That's fine. I don't have a challenge. I played Bloodborne and Elden Ring in front of it. And I love them both. Um, imagine there's a new mutation where now you can't melee stun like grunts or you know the spikers or anything like that instead of this new mutation they can repulse you now it's not as strong as apex is where it damages you but it definitely knocks you on your ass i personally would like to see that however here's the counter and hear me on this mute right so mute jammer could not only disable those um those little abilities that the enemies of the mutation could have but it can also be like the aura grenades it keeps them in that little zone and kind of like uh but ha has anyone seen the movie uh assimilate or um i think that's the movie right where like everyone starts like making phone noises from their mouth if anyone knows what i'm talking about then you, you know what i'm talking about it's like that essentially they walk up to the new gamer if they get close they just stand there and they just kind of get the visual effect on them, you know? They're just steadily there. However, this is where I'm going to have to counteract myself, because that would be way too overpowered. And I like to keep things balanced. Things like Tormentors, Smashers, Apexes, they could stand in that little circle for a while before walking away, because, you know, they're more strong. But I personally would like to see you. Um, we already have Echo, and I don't really think, uh, Valkyrie, Bandit, Frost, or Cap would work in this game, especially Mirror, actually, Mirror actually could probably work, but it, it, it would have to be more like, those who played Black Ops 4 at least gave it a try, like, I believe there was like a beta you just played. Um, or there still is, but there's a free access thing. The point is, is those who played the multiplayer, which obviously uh, all you play is like that zombie, um, there is like this giant shield thing you can get, right? Imagine Mirror's gadget like that. Now, it would be cool to see that because, well, it's just something new and unique. Her gadget can either get placed naturally in the reinforced walls, unbarricaded walls, etc. Or could be laid down as a barricade. Now, the only downfall is that would make, you know, the game devs take the point of making Ash, Thermite, and Havana, or not Havana, uh, Ash, Thermite, and Mira come from being like the narratives and being like our 
you know, HQ reps telling us, hey, this is what's going on, go do this mission and get the fuck out. That is my personal take. It would be really nice to see these operators, but this is my personal wish list. I just been thinking on this for a while, and it could just, you know, it could just be me being me. But another operator, and this would really put the topping on this case for the defenders, okay? Legion. Those who remember old Legion days, especially during and after Wind Bastion, you know Legion was back. Let's all be honest, PC fanbase and console fanbase, let's be honest. The only reason he got nerfed was because a lot of people cried and complained because they went to Rush and that 10 impact damage killed them and they cried about it. Listen, logically speaking, you are stepping on already an unbalanced object, okay? That is like holding a knife upwards and then letting it go. It's going to fall. So with you standing or slash stepping on the goo mine, you're tipping not only that over, but you're breaking the glass and you're really making the need to go into your character's ankle, so like, it made sense. But that is my personal opinion. I genuinely would love to see Legion back in uh, some sort of action where he's actually viable and useful. It would actually be cool to see him maybe have an upgrade where Toxin is really more potent and as it goes, not only does it obviously slow him down, but it increases the damage from the setup being like 5 damage a tick towards like maybe 10 damage a tick plus impact or, or something. But Legion in Siege is just dead. He's only good for guns and his gadgets might as well be an alarm. Right? That is literally it. He's, he's not good at that. To be honest, it's the truth. If you do believe that he was overpowered, please do tell me down below. I would actually like to understand what people believe is overpowered versus annoying, because overpowered is the Alda, annoying is the EMP. But that's the defendant's list. Now, we already have on the attackers list Sledge, Fuse, IQ, Capital, Habana, Sophia, Finca, Lion, Nomad, and Gridlock. Now, I personally would like to see, uh, starting off, like, Blackbeard, or, or even Monty or Blitz, it's just, just some, someone new, you know? Someone who can actually take the hits, maybe even go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an Apex, like, oh, haha, your little repulsory thing that pushes me away when I get too close? Yeah, screw that, you can't do nothing. But I highly doubt they're going to add, uh, Blitz or Monty just because, well, they're only useful for their shields and kind of as an attraction in a way in PvP. But Blackbeard, it would be kind of cool to see since we've got the new mutation for the, we'll just call them the Sniper Spikers. Um, it would be cool to see him have an actual, you know, ballistic shield like he used to have. The shield he has now in seats just doesn't cut it. Literally, you could literally be halfway across the map with like the weakest gun possible in siege and you can still one shot blackbeard literal shield it's 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 sickening it is and who knows maybe he'll be able to carry up to three maybe four or maybe it gets more durability or something but it would be nice to maybe see blackbeard in the game now a lot of people said that they want to see Jackal and Ying, and honestly, on one hand, I do understand it, but on the other hand, you have to think why they're not already in it. Because first off, Jackal, his gadget is literally only seeing feet. That's it. Like, you're going to be seeing a lot of tracks, and 90% of it, is depending on where you're coming from, is going to be a grunt. So, like, you're just not really providing much to the table like yeah oh hey you, you saw this footprint turns up the enemies right behind us yeah sure but like that's that one person you know maybe he could scan up to multiple again fine 
but most likely you're still only going to detect grunts or spikers or breacher clothes or smokers. You're not really going to come across the sewers or the, you know, rooters, anything like that. Especially things like the Apex or Tormentor that don't leave a footprint. They leave sludge instead. Um, so that's why I personally don't think Jackal should be in the game. Ying, Flashbangs, well, Stun Grenade, they're already pretty strong as it is, since they're basically instant. But the thing of the matter is, is Ying's would be just too broken. Like, for starters, she gets literally like 20, and this is obviously the exaggeration, she gets like 20 of uh, Flashbangs inside one. And in PvP, it's very, very broken. And the fact that it could be abused is still upsetting. Um, so that's probably why Ying's never going to be in the game. My personal take, it would be cool, yes, but it's probably just not realistically going to happen when they realize that that's a fuck up. Um, Maverick would be cool. Don't get me wrong, he won't provide much of the table either, just like Jackal, but it would be cool to see Maverick uh, be able to silently burn holes, like tiny little holes to be specific too, obviously they're tiny as it is, and just shoot these enemies through the reinforced walls, which also could help the team depending on your objective, but that's just a small personal thing. Um, that's really all I can think of because I'm looking at a photo right now that's only stopped at um, gridlock oh, this actually might help more um, let me check oh yeah we've got more um, who else do we have here Warren would Actually, I don't think Warden would be useful. I feel like Knock would be cool because she'd kind of be like Vigil in a sense, but the thing is, is Vigil can stand and still use his gadget, whereas Knock would be our first operator in extraction to actually be able to use her gadget and run and still get the benefit of it. Vigil, whether in siege or extraction, doesn't get that. So it would actually be cool to see someone like Knock, a stealth operator, well, obviously in a stealth based game, but maybe that's just my personal take, um, because, well, it just speaks of logic, right? Yeah, she would get a better benefit of it when crouched, but she could still have the effect when running. Um, Amaru and Goyo really wouldn't make any sense to me in it, since it's kind of gone. I don't see how would my would fit in the game. My buddy Magnet wanted uh, Iyana in the game, which to a degree I would understand could work. The thing is, is with that, is first off, that's leaving yourself open. And unless you sacrifice your weapon slot for the auto turret or gadget slot, um, you're kind of going to get yourself killed, especially since Iyana's gadget is really meant for deception, you know, it's most, it's get the trick things. So unless, like, we were able to, like, you know, able to actually shoot with the hologram, there's really not much to the table for Iyana. Um, Malusi would also be good. M maybe they, instead of, like, giving me mute, we could also say the same thing for Malusi. So same concept for Malusi, obviously. And it definitely slows them down. Um, Zero wouldn't really be beneficial unless, like, his drones became automatic and tased things here and there as, like, a distraction or something. A Rooney, I mean, if, if her gadget was infinite, yeah, sure, fine, you know, because her gadget can go on reinforcements. Um, and not to mention it deals damage. So, like, I could see it. I could see a Rooney. But they would definitely have to do a lot of tweaking with most of these offerings. Um, I couldn't really see Thunderbird at all. Um, she would be more useful in like the airlocks, if anything. Plus, not to mention, we do have Dog and the Medkits, but Thunderbird would be cool to see. 
Because, like, if you are, especially in Maelstrom Protocol, you and your team are so low in health. Like, you're all 5 HP speed, right? Thunderbird still has her gadget. Lays that stuff down. You guys can just sit airlock for a couple minutes. Get your health up. You pick up the gadget up. Call it a day. Um, Osa... I don't really know where to sit with this one for Osa, because Osa would still basically be black good, but the thing is, like, what would that be useful at, you know? Like, I, I really can't think of any scenario where we would truly need Osa in Rainbow Six Extraction. Now, Thorn... I could actually see Thorn being really useful, especially for like things like the Smasher, where that penetratable gadget, the same thing with like obviously Capcan, but off of his topic. With Thorn's gadget, you know, it's all about AoE, getting as much damage and kills in as possible. So I could actually see Thorn being in Rainbow Six Extraction and taking care of like multiple grunts, spikers, bleacher smokers, bloaters, etc. I could see her being like the AoE tank, you know, kind of like the same thing as Gridlock, but, you know, this gadget can actually stick the walls, and like, Gridlock, you know, can like, be on the outer piece to help slow things down, and when those kind of go south, Thorn's gadget could be picked up, and whatnot. there's a lot that can go for Thorn. Um, but, that is really my pinnacle of choosing right here, because, like, don't get me wrong, we've already got a lot of choices, but the thing is, is, we have so much space for operators in Windows of Extraction, and it just, it draws to me that we're only getting like one operator like every five months or something, and this is obviously the exaggeration of that, you know, but the thing is, is, it just makes sense to me that Maybe we just get a couple more operators here and there. Um, but outside of that, please let me know if you've made it this far. What would you like to add? I don't really. As much as I would like to say it would be cool to see like Sandy and as a person named Glass, it would be cool to see Glass in the game. But I just don't see Glass or Pally. Or even Sin, for that matter, being brought into the game. Because one Sin's gadget is just so paper thin. It doesn't really do anything. It's all about the peripheral view. And missions like Sabotage, Surreal Scam, things like that, it's not going to do much. So, I don't know. But I'm going to end this here. Please do let me know what you think. Um, I personally feel like I have some good points here. Uh, for operator wise, I might make another video outside of this talking about uh, other stuff, but this was just something that was on my mind. So if you've made it this far, please do like, subscribe, share, comment, help me reach 300 or 1000 by the end of this year. Um, and again, do comment down below what you would like to see operator wise in Rainbow Six Extraction, assuming you play.